Hey guys, it's Chris Jones. Happy 2017. I am, uh, this is episode three of Ask Me Anything about SEO, personal development, professional development, um, and life. Uh, I thought this was an appropriate uh, time, considering it's the new year, to chat with you guys briefly about goal setting. Uh, I was recently reading something about New Year's resolutions and how um, we get all caught up on this idea that we wait until the end of the year to set a goal, typically one goal, typically a goal that too many people don't stay committed to, but nonetheless, it's a goal. And I'm not a big believer in New Year's resolutions uh, simply because of how many people fail uh, to stay committed to whatever it is that they set. So when someone asks me, hey, Chris, what's your New Year's resolution? Here's how I respond, and that's the theme of today's episode. Uh, for future episodes, please go ahead and comment below and uh, ask me anything you would like. Uh, there are sort of, you know, no uh, expectations. Feel free to dive as deep as you'd like. But so when people ask me about resolutions, I usually respond by saying that one of my strongest viewpoints is that every single day that we wake up, every day is a baseline. That we have an opportunity to engage the best version of ourselves every single day. And how do you do that? You know, it starts with a good attitude, but it also um, comes from gaining clarity into what your desired outcomes are. So, in some cases, you might be unhealthy, you might be overweight, you may be struggling financially, you may be in a bad relationship, your job may suck. Any of these areas represent um, areas of improvement that I'm sure anyone would desire. Your outcomes, which I refer to, center around ultimately where you want to go where you want to end up. And, you know, ending up somewhere doesn't necessarily mean a finish line, but it does mean progress. Progress tends to equal happiness. Progress tends to result in momentum. So getting clear on your outcome is a key part of how I think about goal setting. <clears throat> so, you know, I, I use the word clarity because I honestly, sincerely believe that um, we need to think through what it is that we want in life. It can't be just sort of an idea. We have to sort of lay the groundwork of how to take that first step and then ultimately the steps that will get you closer to your goals or your outcomes. So let's just use an easy example. You're unhealthy and you're overweight. We all know that there are no shortage of, you know, uh, lose weight quick or, you know, uh, burn more calories than you consume. But that isn't quite enough. Just knowing that isn't quite enough to get you to take that first step. I'd argue that <clears throat> answering why you want to get fit or become more healthy will help you answer how to take that first step. So let me just play along here. So if you have children like I do, one of the reasons why you might want to be fit and healthy is that you want to be around for your kids. You want to be there for them when they need you. When your son or daughter asks you to play and you, know, you don't have the stamina to do so, um, you know, by taking action towards getting in shape, you're actually getting closer to being able to do the things that are preventing you from, uh, from taking action. So it's about getting clear on the why you want to accomplish something. So if you you know, are struggling financially, I guess one of the reasons that you would want more money is because you don't want to struggle anymore. But you've got to go even deeper than that. 
How about this? I could tell you from personal experience that having money, which I do, the greatest gift isn't the ability to buy a brand new car or to build a new home or to travel around the world. It's the impact that I have in being able to put that money to work to make a positive difference in the lives of other people. Some of those people are my family members, others are friends, <clears throat> others are companies that I invest in, but nonetheless, the true power of being financially secure isn't just so you could pay your bills. It's because you, it gives you the freedom to make an impact on other people. So getting clear on your goals um, is definitely one of the things that has differentiated my level of success from other people. Also my philosophy that it's not about New Year's resolutions as much as it is about you making a commitment to bettering yourself on a day in and day out basis. The idea that every day is a baseline isn't to put more pressure on you every single day to accomplish more and more. It's simply to state a fact that every single day that you wake up, you have a gift to grow, to improve, to take action towards the types of things that you want to do with your life. And ultimately to become closer to that ideal version of yourself. So, you know, as you guys reflect on 2016 and as you start to look towards 2017, you know, I will be here uh, to help you along and to encourage you to, you know, uh, get real, cl you know, to, to get clarity on um, just what it is that you want in life. And importantly, why you want it. So if you have a New Year's resolution, keep it. I'm not discouraging New Year's resolutions by any stretch. Uh, they can be very, very powerful. They can be that first step. But understand that you know, you're much better than that. You have much greater potential and personal power to accomplish just about anything you put your mind to. And a New Year's resolution isn't likely to be that uh, life-changing. However, you making a commitment this year in 2017 to bettering yourself day in and day out and taking steps that feel uncomfortable, that might not feel right, but will get you closer to wherever it is that you want to go, that's what this message is all about. And I believe in you and I believe in your potential. I could say that because many years ago I had to believe in myself and believe in my own potential when other people um, didn't see in me what I knew I had. And I feel the same way about you. I feel that you don't need to look outside for clues about your potential. Believe in your heart that you have everything you need within you right now to take that first step towards whatever it is that you want. You know, happiness and fulfillment comes from progress, and progress equals happiness. So happy new year. This is episode three. Please post your questions if you have them. Uh, I do intend, I'll be in New York City later this week, so I do intend to answer some questions tomorrow and then again on Wednesday. Uh, so please post them. Take care.